Dancing while student, the stripper dancer stereotype. In our next episode of Dancing While Human, we're going to be talking about dancing while being a student. When I first started working as a dancer, I saw dancers who were also students everywhere. It was a constant subject of conversation in the dressing room. Some went to one of the local universities like me, some went to community colleges and studied trades and were trying to become beauticians or real estate agents or EMTs, and some just studied subjects that were interesting to them. During any slow times, while everybody else ate or talked or repaired costumes, they were studying on counters, under counters, on the floor, on stools, everywhere. Sometimes even missing money so that they could get the answer to the next question. One particular dancer I remember had her enormously red head stuck in a book at all times until things got busy later on at night. And she definitely lost out on money as the club was warming up because it was more important to her to learn what she was trying to learn. Club dressing rooms aren't necessarily the best place to study. They're full of microwaves going off, people laughing, sounds of the music on the floor, and girls having conversations. Professors behaved unpredictably when they found out where we worked. The girls who worked at my club, who also went to the same small local college as me, worked together to avoid detection. So we checked the cars for faculty stickers on the way into work and reported to each other if we saw a professor in the bar. Some of the strippers weren't even out to their friends and classmates, much less their teachers. Having never before seen a professor ask a student what was on their t-shirt, I wore my work t-shirt into class one day. The logo on it was non-descriptive and definitely didn't suggest a strip club. My professor asked me from across the room while the room filled up, what's on your shirt? I said, it's where I work, trying to blow him off. What kind of place is it? It's a club. What kind of club? He very obviously at this point knew exactly what kind of club it was and was trying to embarrass me. From the tone, and the fact that he was still interrogating me after this many questions. It's a strip club. He finally moved on teaching a modern history class. I made one of my most important friends in that class because I could be myself, but I don't think that was his intent. Generally, I was often distant from friends at school, even old ones. Their concerns, even serious money matters that I understood well, just sounded different to me. I wasn't worried about every bill like before, but whether or not my body could keep up, whether or not I could keep up in classes and keep my dancing schedule, what I would do if my father found out I was a dancer. We had different concerns, and I kept weird hours. When I could get late classes, I would sleep right until class was starting and leave after class to go straight to work. When I had to take classes early in the morning, I would work at night, stay up all night studying, go to class in the morning, and go to bed at noon or two. They were definitely hours to drive me crazy, and also kept me apart from the people that I had spent time with before. But dancing did get me a degree with no debt, though it lengthened the amount of time that I spent in college. Leaving a job that paid my bills, and worked with my difficulty keeping rigid schedules, to go work a job that was entry level, didn't pay my bills, and had very rigid hours, was more difficult. I interviewed several places and turned down multiple callbacks for jobs that I was now qualified for, but my disability wouldn't allow me to work. Other friends in the industry I saw work the job, go through school, and leave to pursue other interests. Lots of my friends went on to other careers, whether they be in music, artistry, tattooing, or medicine. Throughout my career as a dancer, I have studied, whether it be in college, Spanish, dancing or writing. The dancers around me I see do the same. Painting or learning phlebotomy or how to play the flute. Sometimes dancing inhibits scholarship, sometimes it enhances it. Either way, no need to roll your eyes when you talk to a dancer and she tells you she's a student. She's probably studying you and several more subjects. <laughs>